Good morning. We'd like to welcome everybody to today's press conference and welcome those watching online at racingboys.com. We're here today to talk about Thor Sport Racing and in addition to their team for the 2016 season. Sitting at the table today with us, we have Mr. Rico Abreu, who is the defending Lucas Oil Chili Bowl Nationals champion, and also joining us, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Thor Sport Racing, Mr. Matt Lenave. Mr. Lenave, I'll turn the floor to you. Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you very much. So um, after kind of a week of speculation, um, we are really honored and happy to announce that uh, Rico Abreu will drive and pilot the number 98 Thor Sport Racing Curb Records Toyota Tundra. Man. So here at Thor Sport, we are really excited to have Rico on board. Uh, Rico is a refreshing talent, somebody that's going to bring new energy to the Camping World Truck Series. With Rico's background, he has a pedigree of winning at every level, and uh, He's just been an awesome young man to get to, to get to know and meet over the last six weeks. So we're really excited. So, you know, after being around Rico here for probably the past six weeks, and can't believe we hit it until Lee broke it on Wednesday, um, getting to know Rico has been really a lot of fun. Watching him work with the trucks, his crew, his crew chief, which will be veteran crew chief Doug George. Um, it's really easy to see why Rico has really won at every level and uh, where he's been up until now. So in those last six weeks, I've also seen Rico work a lot with <clears throat> our two-time champ, Matt Crafton. And I think not only has he worn out his ear, he's worn out his cell phone. But in the end, that's a good thing. Additionally, we have Tracy Hines here, our Triple Crown winner, who is also our new competition director. And with the addition of Tracy, I think what the, that's really going to allow for is to help Rico with his transition from dirt to, to asphalt and to really help him work with his crew chief, Doug, so that they can put the best setup on the truck to give him the speed he needs to lead some laps and win some races. So we're looking forward to a great year. So again, it's going to be the Thor Sport, number 98, Toyota Tundra. We're going to have Triad Power. Curb Records will be on the truck as a co-sponsor uh, co for Rico. Uh, Curb's been, uh, Mike Curb's been a real fan of Rico for a long time, a big supporter, and um, he's been with Thorsport now for seven years. So we're excited to have Mike back. Obviously, Mike's number is 98, which coincides with, obviously, Rico driving the number 98, Toyota Tundra. I'd also like to thank Toyota and TRD for their support. They've been behind Rico from the beginning, and uh, have been a big proponent and uh, really helped him pave the way to finding his way to Thor Sport Racing and the Camping World Truck Series. Rico will race for Sunoco Rookie of the Year. Uh, so we're looking forward to watching that progress out over 23 races. And um, again, it's a big progression. He's done a great job in, was it three truck races? Two. Two. And um, again, with having the likes of Matt Crafton, um, 14 years in the Truck Series, when Tracy Hines, and with veteran crew chief Doug George, we know that Rico's going to do a great job. As for Thor Sport Racing, we couldn't be more excited. So we just look for our teams and our drivers to lead laps, win races, and contend for championships. And we know that's what Rico's going to do. Congratulations, Rico. Thanks. Thank you guys uh, for all coming once again. Uh, really looking forward to this moment. Uh, it's, it was really tough to, it's been really tough to keep it all a secret. and. Uh, and again, looking forward to working with all these guys at Thor Sport and, and building a, just a really strong relationship with uh, Matt and Duke and, uh, and Doug and Tracy as well. That uh, you know, I've had history with Tracy racing on the open wheel side. Uh, Mike Kerb, uh, you know, he's going to be a, a part of our team. Uh, he's been with Thor Sport uh, for a few years, uh, a long time. Uh, it's very loyal uh, to the sport of racing, uh, and he's also has history with Keith Coons Motorsports uh, and my background with open wheel racing. I'd uh, like to thank Toyota for being a part of this team, Triad Engines. Uh, got some high goals for 2016. Uh, you know, I were working on finishing uh, all these races, uh, all, all 23 truck races. My biggest thing is finishing just because 
uh, you know, if you don't finish, you're not learning them, and hopefully we can win one. Uh, once again, thank you guys for all coming. Rico, you still have a major race this weekend before you kick off your NASCAR season. Can you defend your Chili Bowl title? Uh, definitely. I think we're fast enough to, uh, fast enough to win this race. Uh, we won it last year. Won my preliminary night this year. Uh, I think it's going to come down to those last ten laps uh, tomorrow night. And we'll begin accepting questions from the media at this time. Lee Spencer, Motorsport.com. Congratulations. Um, talk a little bit about expectations for next year. You ran two races. You you picked up considerably from the first race to the second race, and your relationship with Tracy and how how he, you expect him to help you in the transition. Well, Tracy's done this before, so uh, you know I, he can definitely help. Uh, like Matt said, you know me coming from the open wheel side to the truck series, uh, just stock car racing in general, and. Uh, just help with that learning curve, uh, and we're, he's you know he knows a lot about how those truck work, how those trucks work, and uh, and I think you know he'll be a huge help for me. Scott Trailer, RacingBoys.com. Rico, last year when you got into the heavy stuff, what was the biggest challenge for you to learn going from open wheel and the light cars with all the horsepower to the big heavy cars with less horsepower? got to drive them totally different what was the biggest challenge for you last year uh, probably the just the the conversion of that the weight ratio uh and those cars are you know 2200 pounds more than something i'm used to racing and uh and then you know i really picked up at homestead at the end of the year just the roll speed uh you know instead of trying to drive it so hard into the corner uh back in that corner up and letting the truck roll as much as you can and uh you know, that helped me a ton at the end of the race where I you know, started running lap times as the leaders, as fast as the leaders. Lansky51.com, to go off of that, you know, what was the transition like going into late models? And now from late models to the trucks, what's that going to be like? I think the late models, uh, the, starting at New Smyrna last year, just helped with that, you know, the, the difference of, you know, having your wheelbase of your car is so so short uh, from the midgets to the sprint cars, and then you know that longer wheelbase in the stock cars, uh, and then just getting laps uh, and getting comfortable, and and because you know I didn't really know what to expect when I got into a late model, and uh, and then moving on to the Canon cars, which are really similar, I feel uh, compared to you know size of the cars, obviously, and and just how they raced. Uh, you know, New Smyrna is the only late model track I've raced at. So, uh, other than that, uh, I'm looking forward to racing some more this year too. Matthew, can you touch a little bit on what your lineup now for Thor Sport looks like for the rest of the season? Is will this complete the roster <clears throat> for 2016? Sure. So, um, you know, Matt Crafton's returning in the 88 uh, Menards Tundra. We have um, uh, Ben Rhodes, who will be in the number 41, Alpha Energy, Fronius, Toyota Tundra. Obviously now Rico in the number 98. And um, the rest of Atlanta is still TBD. Um, so we're still working on the fourth truck. But again, uh, it's still TBD. Um, but it's still lo looking like we will fill the fourth truck in Daytona for the year. Overall, just describe what this whole last year has been like, starting with here a year ago in the win in the Chili Bowl. It's been a big change, uh, especially being, you know, able to run all, all these different cars, uh, going from the Chili Bowl to New Smyrna in a late model to New Smyrna again in a K&N car, and then to Greenville Pickens in a K&N car, and then back to Calistoga Speedway for a sprint car race. So it's a, uh, it's a, it's a big di change in uh, in different types of cars that I got to run and. Uh, I got to win in all every car I ran last year, so uh, it's it's cool. I'm gonna do it again this year. I'm gonna get to run um, some sprint car and midget races, and uh, and hopefully I can win in them all again. Rico Scott, RacingBoys.com. So eight years ago, you're not even driving a race car. It's it's like a whirlwind tour for you up to this point. Is it hard to get your head around it sometimes? How fast things are happening for you? And 
how fast you're moving up through the ranks? Uh, not, not really. Um, and I, I just enjoy it uh, I, because, you know, there's not many people out here that get this opportunity. And, uh, you know, I s sit back when I get at home and just enjoy uh, and what's taking place and just soak it all up, uh, especially this week. Uh, this is like one of the biggest racing weeks of the year and uh, there's, there's only one week like this and it's where it's here right now so uh, I just like soaking it up sitting back and watching everybody and uh, just being a part of it all uh, you know I'm just about um, everyone being you know happy and uh, and thankful for uh, all these opportunities I've been given you know from our perspective it was unbelievable how Rico came into the shop it's like he's been here for eight years you know, so he just took the trucks, took to the team, took to the crew, you know, took to the challenge ahead like he's been doing it his entire life. So I can just add to it that from our standpoint, you know, walking in day one was like he walked in for eight straight years. Obviously, he, he's, I think he's going to be one of the biggest drivers in motorsports and marketing-wise. How's that working out for you? Yes, we're excited. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, Rico's a refreshing talent. Um, you know, not a lot of, um, you know, the Kyle Larsons of the world and go back to Tony Stewart or whoever have come over from dirt into, into NASCAR and in, on, in, on asphalt. And I think Rico just brings a great West Coast refreshing perspective, something that we in Thor Sport, you know, we're, you know, we're in Sandusky, Ohio, Midwestern team, and um, we kind of do things our way. And uh, I think Rico just brings a really refreshing uh, sort of way of how he drives and how he approaches the sport. And we're really just excited. So what we're going to do is put him in the best equipment, surround him with the best people to give him a chance to go out and lead laps and win races and let Rico be Rico. And, um, you know, I think the success and, uh, you know, whatever, you know, PR around that and, you know, whatever accolades he gets, we'll just follow along. There's a few people I got to thank uh, just to, that have been, you know, such a big part of my career. Obviously, my family, um, you know, Matt, Duke, uh, Doug, George, my crew chief, Tracy, uh, you know, they, they've they all worked really hard for all this to ha make happen. And then, uh, you know, Keith Coons with, uh, and, and just everyone at Toyota, uh, Chip Ganassi has been a big part of my career. And uh, he's made, you know, he's pushed me along through a lot of this and, and, uh, and also became a great friend uh, throughout his, his, his and Kyle's connection uh, and me being friends with Kyle. Uh, being around that whole environment uh, is pretty cool because a lot of kids don't get to experience any of that and be around those kind of people. Uh, it's it's really special for me to uh, to be a part of it all. You, you talk about how grateful you are, and on the other side of that, um, you're getting with the oldest established team in the truck series. I mean, how big is that for you? Because you know, some people, they kind of take baby steps and they'll start with, a, you know, a less established. I mean, this is a championship team. You know, what Crafton's been able to do, what they've been able to do over over the years is really impressive. How much is that going to, you know, expedite your learning curve? I think it'll just keep speeding it up. Uh, you know, Crafton is, he's not afraid to work with anybody and he's not afraid to tell anyone his secrets. Uh, you know, I've become, you know, close with them the last few weeks and uh and we you know we went from never meeting each other to talking every day now so it's it's cool to have a guy like that uh behind you and 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 there to support you when you need it uh and for that team to be a part of is is unbelievable just because of the success they've had and uh it's definitely the right i feel the right uh option for me to go and uh it's the right step you know, Lee, on top of that, and thank you, on top of that, we got to take Rico to a hockey game. And besides, was it your first hockey game? Besides his first hockey game, which was kind of cool, um, we just kind of sat there while him and Matt did the, old, the, the racer thing. The whole, th the whole thing, they were doing this and this and this, and you could just tell they're stalking racing. And, you know, Crafton's old school racer, and, you know, I think Rico's sort of an old soul old school racer. So those two just kumbaya out from day one. And, uh, again, Matt does. You know, Matt will. If you go to Matt, He'll tell you. You know, just a lot of people sometimes think that they know it all. And uh, I think Rico then, you know, is sort of, like I said, he's really just sort of attached himself, and he'll go through the learning curve and, uh, and then figure it out on his own. I, 
as great as, as this is for Rico and for you, this is also awesome for the sport. Rico is a wonderful asset to the sport, and, and now it just expands into, into more levels. Uh, I, I just can't imagine how much his popularity is going to continue to grow. I mean, it's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, again, we're, we're really excited, you know, and, um, you know, just, just bringing, you know, fresh talent into the sport is good at all levels and at every sport, really. So, again, we at Thor Sport couldn't be more honored. We're excited and uh, to really, you know, not only grow the team, but grow the sport. And, um, you know, if we can just bring in new fans, that's what it's all about, grow the series. And, uh, again, you know, we're just really excited to have them. El Dora ought to be a high point this year. Yeah, yeah. Tracy, are you spawned for him at that race, or, or no? All right. <laughs> the way my position is, I have to be so neutral that I won't be spawned. But obviously, I'll be there to help and pipe on all three, all possibly four races. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, just like there's road course experts, we are obviously looking to Rico to do very well at that race. Again, we'd like to thank everybody for coming out. Gentlemen, is there anything you'd like to add before we dismiss? You all good? All right. Well, hey, thanks for coming, everybody. Appreciate it. All the best to Rico tomorrow night. See if he can uh, you know, defend his championship, his, his win from last year. And, uh, again, thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Rico and Matt will be on hand for one-on-one -on -one questions if need be. Thank you.